It has been 16, almost 17 years since we got a Budokai Tenkaichi game. To kind of prove this, if you go to release date, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 came out on October 4th, 2007. And that was such a long time ago. To put this in perspective, when this game came out, it was the same era as when Halo 3 was releasing. Like, if anyone remembers the tremendous wave that Halo 3 brought to so many kids, I know me growing up, it was around that same time period. That is literally how long ago that was, and it is insane to really just take a moment to think about that's just how long it's been. But, um, literally a few hours ago, this trailer came out. It's very brief. But the trailer obviously just alone is bringing just a surge of hype. And even though I know I'm technically just an anime and manga channel, this series harbors a special place in my heart, and I cannot stop myself from talking about it. Because legit, I've said it many times in different vlog videos and just random reviews, etc. Dragon Ball was my first anime, legitimately. It was my first anime, and it was basically my first fighting game I ever got to play. I remember that whole moment in the first Budokai game where you have to, you know, hold Raditz in position while Piccolo was charging the special beam cannon. And I remember as a kid, I was so bad, I could not pass that for a long time until, like, oh, many, many, you know, I guess months later after kind of being stuck on it. Yeah, I was kind of bad as a gamer when I was a kid. Still kind of bad as a gamer. But the point is, is that I really love the Budokai games. I beat all of them growing up. I really love the Budokai Tenkaichi games. And I cannot believe after how long it's been, we finally, at long last, have an announcement for Part 4. It's legitimately insane news. Because, like, once again, it's been like 16, almost 17 years. And at this point in time, many, including myself, were like it's never going to happen because it's like so much time has passed and we had like fighter Z that came out. And let's be honest, fighter Z was really good. Like dragon ball fighter Z. Holy crap. That's an amazing game. And the fact that, you know, that was so popular and so good, people were like, well, if they're going to continue any form of fighting games, for dragon ball, they're probably just going to do a fighter Z two or something. But the fact that we got a Budokai Tenkaichi four announcement and oh my goodness, this trailer, like legit, this trailer I cannot wait to honestly just see how incredible this game actually looks. Now, the thing I want to talk about briefly is because this is obviously early footage. And I know for a fact a lot of things can change, etc. with games, because obviously this is very early on. They didn't really show that much. Basically, they just showed this whole little transition of like an old style moment of Goku transforming back in the old games. And then into this newer graphic fidelity, which is just, honestly, it's incredible. This is a legitimately incredible transition they did here. It's very clear by just like... The, whoever made this trailer, regardless of, like, anyone else, like, whoever really sat down and created this trailer, they knew what they were doing, and they really wanted to make the Dragon Ball fans of the games jump for joy and excited, because I know I did. As soon as I legitimately saw this, I was, I was literally in a state of shock. I was just like, there's no freaking way. And then, all of a sudden, you see the transition, Goku's transforming, and then, you just, you see, like, you know, how it's, like, saying, get ready for battle, and then, as you see, obviously, Super Saiyan Blue, here, you literally see, like, the grass movement. Like, I want to point this out here. Like, this grass here around Goku on planet Namek, you literally see movement of it. And once again, this is early footage, so this might not obviously represent what the final product is going to look like, but I would assume it's going to look very close. And if we can expect maybe, like, the environment to move like that, like, you know, when Goku's powering up, like, they get in the battle, like, you have the two characters face each other, like, Goku and Vegeta, so to speak, and you see, like, the grass move when they're charging stuff, oh my goodness, that's gonna be amazing, I really hope the game looks like this, or even better than what it looks like, I, I really hope it does, because, like, holy crap, we really, I would love a really good, like, Budokai Tenkaichi game again, and, it has so much potential, because, like, to the story, and the campaigns, and the character roster, even the mod support for some of the games that people use nowadays for mods, I just, oh my goodness, this would be so good, like, 
Oh my goodness. So, let, let's just take a few moments to talk about this, okay? Obviously, I have a lot of nostalgia for this. Like, when I saw this whole scene, like, I, I, dude, I remember these scenes so vividly. I remember spending countless hours doing stuff like this, just playing these games. I remember, like, at the time period when I was, like, really young, like, 2007, how old was I? Um, let's see here. Uh, I was about 12 years old. Now, I was 12 years old in 2007, and I remember, like, I would get off of the bus, off of school, rush inside after, let's say, I watched, like, Fairy Tale or whatever, and, or not Fairy Tale, was Fairy Tale coming out? Yeah, in 2007? No, 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 I'm, I'm misremembering, that's later on. Um, I remember getting off the bus, and I was, um, playing, uh, Budokai. I, I was playing Budokai and all that, I remember, like, I unlocked a bunch of different characters. I remember playing, like, Omega Shinron. I remember, like, uh, wanting to get, like, the Great Ape or whatever play as them. Oh, man, it, it was just cool. Like, I don't know. There was just so many characters and so much uniqueness in it. It was just always fun. Sadly, I didn't really have anyone to play with on the game. I always had to fight AI, etc. Yeah, that was me as a kid. I was the one that basically playing by myself with the game, but, um, I remember 100%ing the originals, and I had just so much fun, I hope they do something wacky with this game, like, if you remember the original Budokai games, if anyone remembers them, you'll remember that there was, like, these what-if scenes, like, in the first one, just Budokai, one, where, like, there was a what-if would sell if he absorbed, like, Krillin or something, I hope with this game they do stuff like that, like, have a lot of fun what-if type things that would just be really cool and unique to do, like, maybe, like, what if Cell actually won and killed Gohan or something, stuff like that, I don't know, I, I would like little branching storylines within the game, but, um, getting back into it, though, I think that just g genuinely looking at this early footage of at least what it looks like, it looks like it's going to be good. It does look like it's going to be good. I, I just hope it turns out to be good. It's a good game that doesn't probably fail on release, kind of like Jump Force, because obviously uh, Bandai is a part of this, and they were also connected with, like, you know, Jump Force. That was a Discord ping. Forgive me on that one. But um, I just, I really hope that uh, this is a good game. I, I hope it is. I would love to see this done well. I, I honestly... I know not many people probably that are watching this video that watch my channel probably care about maybe Dragon Ball or care about Budokai, but man, I grew up with this stuff, and it's legitimately nostalgic for me to see this game finally get in some form of continuation. Man, it's going to be good. I, I cannot wait to play this. Maybe uh, when this does come out, maybe I'll do a stream of it or something, and I'll fight you guys as the viewers or whatever, like I'll call you guys in and we can do matches or something. That'd be very fun. I, I would love to do that. But um, I, I guess I'll wrap this up here. Um, the time you guys see this video will probably be early in the morning because I'm going to be going to bed soon. But uh, anyways, you all have a fantastic day or night wherever you live. Be safe. Stay healthy. Chibi out.